Welcome back my friends. It's Melanie with Melanie Smith Stamps and if you're new to my channel I want to say welcome for the first time. I hope by the end I have won you over and you will hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for future videos. Today we are playing with the LDRS Creative Impression Die Letterpress Press and Foil Plates. These are so versatile because you can both press them in your better press and foil them in your glimmer machine or glimmer foiling machine of your choice. The glimmer is what we're playing with today. We are going to foil these tulips and make a card. I also have an example of these peonies better pressed in a card sample as well. So we're going to team these up with a couple sentiment sets and a couple foundation dies. And all of these supplies will be listed down below. But what's most important to know is that when shopping with LDRS Creative over in their store, always make sure you use the coupon code MELANIE15 anytime you're shopping because that does give you a 15% discount anytime you're shopping and it gives you that 15% off of the regular retail prices, including new releases. So these are part of their newest release, as is this sentiment set here and the arches. But all of these should be discounted, including their inks, their hybrid inks. So I want to jump in to creating with you. And so I'll be right back with the glimmer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the impression die tulips and I'm going to go ahead and place it here on the glimmer machine and hit the timer button. It was already preheated before starting this segment. So I'm going to go ahead and let that heat up. And while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my pink foil that I want to use for this project. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I have previously cut an arch from the um, new arch labels, and I'm going to strategically place this arch here when I do my sandwich. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to place this here. And we do have a little bit of a time sensitivity here. So I'm going to put the foil face down. And I'm going to put my paper face down. Trying to make sure that that is in proper alignment. And of course you're always going with a little bit of a blind eye here. I could tape it in place but I'm just kind of rolling with it. And I'm going to run that through my Platinum 6. I go, I go nice and slow to give it time to transfer. Okay. Then when I take it out, I like to plug it black back in my platform. And then we'll see what we get here. Okay, so here is my foil piece, you notice there, okay. I didn't quite get it to the end here, but I can go ahead and just snip that off there, trim that off to get the look that I'm after. Be good enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and slide that out of the way and let it cool. And I will be back in just a YouTube second once that's cooled and I can remove it from my desk and we will move on with the tutorial. Okay, my design idea with this little foiled beauty is that we bring in colors from our pattern paper. Now this is the paper that I chose. It's just a pattern paper from my stash. And I've cut another arch from the arches set 
And we're going to go ahead and end up using this as our card base. And then I've also cut a sentiment here as well that we'll use there when we're done. So we're going to use these couple of inks and we'll ink up the top portion in blue and the bottom portion in green. So let's see how this goes. I'm using their hybrid, LDRS hybrid inks. And I thought we would just go over the bottom section here with this green ink. And I'm going to leave a halo of white in the center. So I'm just wanting to go over a little bit here. And I thought I would wait to see if I really wanted to trim that or not. Um, before... I wanted to ink it first. I can always trim it and ink it a little more at the bottom. I wanted to see what it would look like. So let's see, get this going here and move this. I'm gonna move this a little bit off so I don't get that green there. I've done one other of these off screen and I used a lighter pink foil and I'll show you that here when we're done. And then we can choose which one we want to use on our finished card. But I wanted to show you how I achieved the look. I'm actually seeing an interesting look here in the foil, which I'm not quite understanding. It actually looks like the foil itself is bleeding a little bit, which I'm not exactly sure why, because that didn't happen before. I'm wondering if I used a different type of paper. because I'm getting a darker hue of my ink and I'm getting a pinkish hue, which is kind of interesting because I wasn't planning on coloring any of the flowers. So it's kind of funky that it's turning out that way. But let me show you, that did get a kind of a funky blend there on the sides. Um, let me show you what the previous one looked like because, you know, the live television or video. Let me, let me squirt this here real quick so I don't get any of our other, other items contaminated. I don't want ink on anything else. So let me just clean that glass mat up real quick. And I'll bring it, yeah, this is totally different. This is like changing colors as it sits. This is weird. That is so funky, like that looks yellow. It doesn't even look green. It's like changing colors in front of our eyes. Look at this first one. Isn't that wild? Look at the foil changing. It's like, I'm not sure what I did. And look at this first one. It's, I used a different foil. I used a darker foil, darker pink. And this is the lighter pink. Both are Spellbinders foils. And I used both hybrid inks. Hmm. But this looks almost like the foil reacted to the ink. That is quite interesting okay so we are finishing our card with my first one and I will show you what my vision was so we will put this one together okay oh wait I wanted to put I wanted to put twine. Where's my twine? Gotta make it cute. Let's make it cute. Okay. 
see that. I'm trying to make it cute. Okay. And I think we'll be good to go. But the, the sentiment here, it never hurts to keep looking for sunshine. And my sunshine, you got to leave me some sunshine comments down below. Okay, here we go. Here we go, put that on there. I'm liking that. Now I'm gonna put this on here. And I think this card calls for some embellishments. Okay, so there's my card, and it's going to have the sentiment right up here, like so. So let me grab some, and we'll nestle this right down in there. I also glimmered this sentiment. This sentiment is also... An impressions letterpress die so it can be glimmered or better pressed and it has the coordinating dies as well so you can have double duty as I like to call it and there we go so it's also got the pink in it as well the pink glimmer so I've got that there, and then I want to get some little rhinestones. I've got some here from Honeybee that I've been wanting to use. So I think these will be sweet. Let's see here. I've got my tweezers. Here's some tweezers. So let's see, how about we add some pink ones? There we go. And whoops. That one got any glue? Nope. That one lost its glue. It's still on the paper. There we go. Now it's got it. It just needed its glue dot. We'll put this one down here. There we go. Now we've got some bling. And there's our card. So here's our glimmered card. And then here is the card I made using the Better Press. Now on this one here, I used my ink pads. I first inked the Better Press on the LDRS watercolor paper. Then I used my ink pads that I had with me on my vacation. I was using... Um, a water base ink pad on vacation is that's what I had with me because they were little cubes and so I used that on um, the little travel glass mat that I had with me 
and I watercolored using a paintbrush and I came in and watercolored these over the hybrid ink that I used here to stamp with. So I got a very pretty little dusting of watercolor on there and I really like the way it turned out. Then I used some pattern paper and I used multiple layers here to give the sentiment some dimension. And this sentiment and stamp set was from this set here, which I found quite interesting because this stamp set has a whole bunch of secondary stamp sets on it or stamps, but they all coordinate with these simple, simply word dies. So you have enjoy your special day or enjoy every moment. So, I mean, you have the sentiments to work like this in numerous ways where you have the big word and then you have the small words, which I thought was really neat to use your products in numerous ways. So I'm always looking for products like that. I want longevity. So here is my bonus card. So you have a glimmering one way and a better pressing the other with these new floral impression dies by LDRS. I hope you guys have enjoyed the samples at least because the tutorial was a bust. <laughs> but hey, it's life in the craft room, right? And if you're crafting life with me, it's going to happen. Have a great day, guys, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.